So for the past couple weeks, I've been really busy doing some stuff that needed my attention. And you probably have noticed it because I wasn't really here, I wasn't uploading so much, um, and I tried, I tried to actually make some videos and show my drawings, but I couldn't bring myself to draw anything. I was like, yeah, I can grab a pencil, put it on my screen, but nothing worthy of attention would come out of it. And I was like, is this the end of my artistic career? Like, how am I possibly not able to draw when I've been drawing for ever now? And I was like really disappointed because I thought that I was like done and I had to go back to college and do whatever is necessary to get into a traditional job or something. And I was like, I should not be an artist anymore. And all of a sudden, I remember the similarity between the situation there and something that happened in the past so when i was in high school i would be studying so much i would be like studying all the time i would wake up study go to bed wake up study go to bed it was like a repetition of my life i was feeling really anxious and stressed out and i had to manage so many subjects i had to manage biology i had to manage chemistry i had to manage physics mathematics like everything all at once because i wanted to get into college and a very prestigious college so i had to manage it i had to bring myself to lead myself so that i can actually get into doing all of them and my mind was like yeah it, this is good because i love thinking i love using my reasoning and it's gonna make me much more active with my thoughts because it's a good thing you know you're studying and you're doing everything that you can to make yourself much more intelligent i guess and i was like thinking that this is going to help me at some point with my creativity as well uh, at the same time i was like sometimes i i had this craving of drawing something like doodling something and i would doodle uh, but i could not really make it make a doodling that could actually be worthy of my time and i was like why the heck am i even trying this is not a great drawing so i should not even be doing any drawing because i know that i can't do it i thought that i thought the same thing i thought that i'm never gonna be an artist i am going to the college and this is gonna be the rest of my life and this is the end of my artistic personality like i couldn't really believe that i could get out of that situation and so i i took the exam and i got into college and when I got into college, I was like, yeah, um, I am really free now. I don't know what to do with my time. I have, I have so much time. The college doesn't really demand me so much. I had to be busy all the time, okay? I was a busy bee, so I had to be busy all the time. So I read some books and do something, but after a while, I got interested in drawing again. And I started drawing, but like my ability came back, actually. My drawing ability came back, and I thought to myself, what is happening? It was gone, and now it's back. How could that be possible? Because I lost it, and I could not even draw at that moment when I was like in high school. I would draw so many times, and I would not be able to draw something good. And I was like, is it, is it like, what is it? Like, is this something about my brain and the way my brain is habituated by certain activities that I do during the day? Uh, what is it that make me not able to be creative? You know, what is it that make me crippled? What is it that make me feel like I am wasting my time when I'm drawing. It's like I couldn't bring myself to the present moment. I was always thinking the next thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to like solve the next test. I'm going to solve the next question. It's going to be that. It's going to be this. Like I was always constantly in the future and I was like moving towards something. Keep in mind that when you're drawing, you are not in the future. You are not in the past. You are bringing yourself settling yourself down onto the present and i could not do that 
because I was so worried about the next book that I'm gonna tackle, about the next thing that I'm gonna read, about the next theory that I'm gonna study. And I was like always constantly moving towards something that was for the future. And I could not bring myself to the present. And I knew at that moment that there's phases, there's states of mind that make it possible to be a creative type. So if you think that you're not creative, it's just because you've been doing tasks and activities that really demands your attention fully and it's like a logical task and it's just you going toward the future, not settling down and really experiencing the present time. And that was, that was the moment that I decided to actually master my mind, master the art of using my own brain. And I was like, yeah, I can use this knowledge that I gained to actually bring those state of mind to myself by my own will. And I could just become creative in a moment and be a logical leader in the next moment. I would have these two sides of me live in my head at the same time. And I thought about that and I was like, I could do that because I knew that I can handle them separately, but I cannot really handle them in combination. I can't do it all at once. And I wanted to do it all at once because like there are so many aspects of um, art career that really needs that attention, like business or of mindset. And when you are doing something artistic, it requires your creativity to help you through that process. So how can you summon the two sides of your brain to be there with you at the same time? And I figured that it's not really possible to have both of the mindset at the same time because you can't really hold two thoughts at the same time. What you can do is to cram all the creative tasks. So you can do all the creative tasks in one session and do all the business related stuff in another session because now you're actually uh, going into the creative mindset and doing everything that is related to creativity and then like closing that drawer and trying to go into the logical mindset or a business mindset and you are going to be able to achieve more because um because with this method you're actually using the state of flow when you're in a flow state of creativity you are able to create a lot of things when you're in a mindset of business the more you go into it the more you can actually tackle problems and you know solve everything in a very logical way and that's how you're able to tap into your creativity again if you are really stuck in a situation that you think your creativity is doomed don't be upset because it's gonna come back it's just that your brain is in another state and that is something that I was really confused with because for the past couple of weeks, I've been really busy that I could not really attend to any kind of video. So this was really useful to know. And I hope that it was useful for you too. And thank you so much for watching. If you really liked it, you can give this video a thumbs up. And as always, have a great day.